I hate to say it, but I have to admit, I'm getting old. Tumatanda na ako. At kasabay nito, napansin ko, medyo nababago na yung blood pressure ko. And I have to take medication just to stabilize it. And there are occasions when, without any warning, my blood pressure would shoot up, and I would be irritated at the smallest of things. And sometimes, the smallest of issues become a trigger for me and my wife to get into an argument. And for a short while, I'd be so angry with her. I know, I'm normally very careful with my words, but for a brief period when I'm so angry, I'd make the mistake of saying the unkindest of things to my wife and hurt her feelings. And you know, the effort to make up for it far exceeds the effort this way that I simply let go of my anger. It doesn't matter what your age is, what your blood pressure is, when you're angry, you're so tempted to lash out at the people who anger us. And there can be a strong urge to, you know, throw things at the other person. How many family relationships, uh, friendships, business partnerships, uh, even romantic relationships have been harmed or permanently broken because of an irresponsible remark expressed in the heat of anger? And even worse, in the heat of anger, some people have committed the most horrible acts of violence. These people claim afterwards that you know, their mind snapped and they lost control of themselves. And so many cases of child abuse, uh, marital violence, manslaughter or murder have been committed by people who have lost control of their anger. If you think about it, sometimes we just make anger an excuse for losing control and doing a lot of harm to people. The Bible tells us, however, that we shouldn't allow anger to make us lose control. Anger can be managed. This is what we find in the book of Ephesians. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger and give no opportunity to the devil. The verse is not saying you should not be angry. There are times when you cannot help but be angry. But what this verse says is that when you do get angry, do not sin. Being angry is not sin. But the things we do in our anger can be sinful. We may be tempted to curse other people, uh, say hateful or hurtful words. We can hit people physically, become violent in uncontrollable rage. What this passage says is that anger should not result in sin. Hindi siya kailangang magbunga sa kasalanan. Kaya mong kontrolin yung sarili mo at kaya mong gumawa ng tama kahit galit ka. Magpalamig ka muna ng ulo bago ka magsalita na pagsisihan mo. That's why we're commanded to not let the sun go down on your anger. It's good advice. Make sure you're no longer angry before you go to bed. If you do so, you deny the devil from having a hold on you. Anger provides the devil an opportunity to tempt you to commit sin. Managing your anger removes that opportunity, and you stay on the right side of God. So, whenever you're angry, here's a piece of advice. Don't be too quick to act on that anger. Pause for a while. Cool down a bit, say a little prayer to God, and take control of your emotions. Because this is a time when you need to be in control of whatever you're going to say or do. You won't regret it. Just keep in mind, in managing your anger, faith matters too.